Hi, today we'll see how to compare two objects using compare to method. When we do a comparison that involves pure numbers, for example, if I write if psi is less than 7. In this kind of comparison, this involves two pure numbers, so the comparison is straightforward. But if we want to compare two objects, like right now we have two circle objects, C1 and C2, and if we want to compare which one is bigger, uh, this is not a straightforward problem. It is because uh, we have to tell the system how we want to do the comparison. Suppose we want to do the comparison using the area attribute of the circle. So whichever circle has bigger area has to be bigger object in the comparison. So let's uh, take a look at the circle class. Here we have a circle class that has one property area and we have a constructor that, that takes a radius as a parameter. Uh, okay, so here you see that we are creating two objects circle C1 and C2. So if I want to check which circle is bigger, how can I do that? To do that, in your class, you have to implement one interface that is called as iComparable. Now, this iComparable interface gives you a means uh, to compare two objects of this class type. So, let's implement this interface first. So, I choose to implement it at this point. So, this interface has one method compared to and right now we have default implementation let me delete this so this compare to method is returning one integer value and it is taking object as an argument it means that i can use this method on object of a circle class and i can pass another circle object as an parameter and inside this compare to method, I can decide the criteria which will uh, decide finally which circle is bigger. So let's see uh, which parameter we have. We have area uh, as a deciding factor uh, to check which circle is bigger. Now first of all, as you see here, it is taking a simple object and not a circle class object. So first step, you have to typecast this object into a circle type. So let's do the typecasting first. Okay, so uh, right now you have a circle that needs to be compared with your current object. You refer to your current object using this keyword. Here, I can write my logic to compare two circles. So let's say if my current circle's area is less than the circle which is given for the comparison, its area, then I should return one integer back. Um, as my current circle's area is lesser, I decide that I will return a negative number. Else if another case would be your current circle's area will be bigger or greater than the circle you are comparing with. In that case, let's say I return back a positive number that is one. And in final case, <clears throat> it will be both the areas will be seen okay so that will be the else case in that case let's say we'll return zero all right so this is our compare to method uh, that we added to our circle class now here let's see how we can make use of this uh, compare to method so let's say when i say if my first circle c1 dot now i see a compare to method here that is asking for another object 
to compare with. So we have a C2. Okay. Now this compare to method is giving you back an integer. So we know that it will be a negative, positive or zero depending upon the comparison. So let's say if this is a negative number, it means that C1 is a smaller circle. So in that case, let's write on the console C1 is smaller. All right. And let's continue this for remaining comparisons. I'll write it as else if. If it is a positive number, then obviously C1 is a bigger one. And in final case, I can write that both circles are same. All right. So <clears throat> here we have uh, C2 as the bigger circle, as you can see here. So let's run this and check. Yeah. So it is printing C1 is smaller. Alright, thank you.